Check. Welcome back, tribe. I have another one here where uh, woke feminists are melting down over DJT. I can't even say his name anymore, dude. The channel is suppressed so hard. If you haven't noticed, I probably haven't been appearing. Welcome back to the guys that manually have to click on videos or find me after like two, three months when this wears off. Jesus. Faith in humanity, clap your hands. If you've lost faith in humanity, and this is your villain origin story, if you've lost faith in humanity, clap your hands. <coughs> <laughs> Look, they're crying because they don't get food stamps anymore. Go work, you lazy bums. Go get a job. Look, everybody crying. <laughs> they cut my food stamps. No more food stamps. Go work. Go work. Hope your day gets better. Positive energy. Is that a food stamp recipient? <laughs> calm down right now. <laughs> oh my god. She used the crazy eyes. America, how could you do this to us again? What the fuck? <laughs> how are we supposed to live another four years Bruh. like this? <laughs> what did you do to us? Check this guy's computer for some stuff that shouldn't be on there. Hey, so listen, I'm gonna let y'all know this right now, okay? So you know trumpets, like... Y'all won. I, I know y'all happy. Whatever the fuck. Ain't nobody acting like bitter losers. However, y'all need to leave me the fuck alone. Because I got one more fucking cigarette in me before I start lighting your asses up. I, And that's where to the United States. And uh, what about all the millions of kids you've influenced with your shit music that you know is absolute garbage and makes them worse women? Because the moment with multiple videos of you live streaming, the moment your daughter comes into listening to your lyrics, you're rapping on screen, you turn that music off real quick. But your shit is pumped on the airwaves, polluting the ears of all the young people in this country. Shut the fuck up, you degenerate. It's a motherfucking America. Yeah, yeah. Paris did not win. Uh-huh. Trump. <laughs> so we're I'm You see how the kids are breathing and shit? This is a safe space to unload your feelings truth. Like the mother is imparting on them all this anxiety and stress. Do you see this? Bro, fuck, some parents don't deserve to have kids. That shit's crazy. <laughs> Take a breath. Yep. So today may look a little different at school. Okay, there are probably going to be friends who have questions. Oh my God, bro. Right? So dramatic. Um, I'm sure your teachers are going to... You lost. These are the sore losers. You lost. Get over it already. Move on with your day. The, the country gave you a resounding no. You lost the popular vote. You lost the electoral college. You lost the Senate. You lost the House. You lost everything. Overwhelmingly rejected leftist ideas. America said they had enough. And that's it. Back. You guys want to win again in 2028? You got to go back to libertarian values. That's your only shot. It's crazy how many libertarians moved over to the conservative side, myself included. I don't like Republicans and I don't like Democrats, but there's millions of me out there that voted for Trump because we hate what leftists have done to the Democrats. You're the party of censorship. You're the party of disinformation. You're the party of war. You become everything libertarians hate. There's no way I could have in good faith voted for that woman given everything she supports and what the party stands for today. And millions of people are just like me. I genuinely do want to urge people with ovaries and uteruses and women and anyone assigned female at birth to not look at men, not talk to men, not entertain men, not look for validation in men, not... Also, 
bootlickers like this and of the leftist mentality were the ones that said people, and I will not ever forget this headline, that unvaccinated people should be put in concentration camps. That headline exists. Remember that when they ask for the olive branch. Remember that when they want, ah, let's all build together in unity. Ah, let's all come to the table together. Remember us. Yeah, I remember. I'm unvaccinated myself. And I remember the shit that they were saying. Unvaccinated people are a threat to society and they should be put in camps. Never forget. Center their world and their being and their appearance and their thoughts um, around men and look for, for men and up to men on what they should think and what they should decide because it's clear that they've never seen us as anything but procreation machines and pleasure objects and dolls. Quick question. So does anybody know how to find or hire a hitman or woman? Um, Because we don't want to be sexist. So, but I think we could pull this off collectively. If you want to chip in, DM. I beg your pardon. I'm so glad you guys got your cheap ass groceries and your cheap ass fucking gas because you're fucking broke as shit. You're fucking broke. You're fucking broke. Broke. I said I'm fucking doing serious. You're fucking broke. Okay. I don't care what. Save your ass, Maggie, dude. Thank you so much. We love you so much. I don't love you. But we love you. I don't love you. I hope God helps you. I do not want your love. I want you to. I want you to find yourself in a Princess Diana car act today. Really? But why? What? We love you. Yeah, we, you. we might. It's personal now. I'm coming for every single straight man in my family. Hi. <laughs> Y'all fucked around and found out. And now this is going to happen. You're welcome. So I am absolutely... Now I'm sure, now I'm positive, that the yearly hunting trip that y'all have been having, that my father hosts, that, that my uncle goes on, that my uncles, my, my, my brother, my cousins that are like my brothers, their friends that have all known me my entire life, that cl- claim to love and respect. What's sad about this is we have guys even in the private community that have said that they've lost friends, literally got ostracized from their friend group. Um, and one messaged me DM directly that some people in his friend group, one actually uh, hit the exit permanently. Sorry to hear that, brother. Um, I think that is a damning reality on the degenerate culture of the United States of America that a presidential election has certain people ending themselves. That's sad, actually. That due to the censorship machine, due to the echo chambers and control from political parties and government meddling and online conversations turning them into the echo chambers you know towing the party line so to speak like they were trying to do with reddit one of the worst echo chambers of all has unfortunately radicalized people into these beliefs so much so that they're willing to end themselves over a presidential election imagine that imagine this is the world we live in today that these people victim actually victims of the leftist ideology victims of government overreach and manipulation slash coercion slash cooperation with big tech to foster a narrative that is costing people their lives and that this is under pro- a progressive ideology that they are the right side of history that they stand for a person's personal liberties and freedoms that's the party that's the problem i have with this so rest in peace to all those that have been manipulated indoctrinated and unfortunately hoodwinked into harming yourselves because they preyed upon your instability in life. You probably don't come from a good home. You've always felt vulnerable, whether physically or psychologically. And the Democrat Party welcomes you with open arms because they will use massive information campaigns to dig their ideology deep, plant that seed in your brain, and turn you into a zealot for their cause at the expense of your life. That's really disgusting. So there are more vulnerable people in the world today than we've ever had, simply for all the disconnect, the cost of living, uh, stagnant wages, broken homes, the cultures becoming rotten, uh, hedonism, consumerism, addictions to dopamine from phones and entertainment and all these other tech gadgets that has left people mentally vulnerable to extremist ideology. And unfortunately, when you marry extremist ideology, radicals, with the government, you do get these top-down censorship campaigns, this social engineering that is costing lives of many people. This is what it is. This is what you're seeing here. Social engineering. These people in a roundabout way, although fun to laugh at them, funny as hell to see them lose their shit, 
if you look at it from a like an omnipresent view, further out, further out, remove yourself from you being a conservative or libertarian, remove yourself from American politics. Just look at this on a societal level. These people are victims. That's what's sad. Victims that victimize themselves, voting against their own interests, being taken advantage of by the parties, by the political machine in general. Conservatives do it too, but it just hasn't been as ridiculous as widespread as the leftists have. I don't know. Just some libertarian rants. Me. Have been having a yearly claim to love and respect women in general, but obviously that's bullshit. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. I was very blindsided by the results this morning. Um, I've decided that cigarettes don't count today, and I honestly might go get a tattoo. But I also have decided that for the next four years, I am going to abstain from Schmecks with men. And Great. funny enough, I actually just broke up with my boyfriend a handful of days before the election. I highly encourage any other women that are single. Donald Trump has 267 electoral votes. 267. You remember that plan that we came up when we was on vacation um, in uh, uh, at our Memorial Day? She was like, yeah, I do. I said, it's time to put that plan into action. So the plan is children. Victoria, B.C. I looked it up the first time he won office. Victoria, B.C., they are one of the best places for black people to go. They are one of the warmest places in Canada, and it's not too far from here from where, I, from where I live, at least. No matter what you do, you will never, you will never put out my love. You will never what the make hell? me give up hope. No matter what you say, no matter what you do, no matter, you will never put out my love. Shut up, bitch! <laughs> we are about to enter a political period that will have consequences for the rest of our lives. We now find ourselves in a time in history that has a precedent. Bloated. And we find ourselves in... She been crying, bro. She's looking look at her eyes, those eye bags, those bulging cheeks right there. That's somebody. <laughs> what is happening? Are they really that fucking insane? A oh. time where there are times of fascism and authoritarianism. Oh boy! So according to every one of these liberals, Donald Trump is a this some shit that I'm not like crying on the and women's rights. Go ahead. I really do not like crying on the internet, but I'm not even about to pretend like this some shit that I'm gonna be embarrassed about, bro. Like, I ain't never been so f devastated behind an election. And it's just like, when you a black woman surrounded by black men and they say all this shit, like, oh, he's not that bad and oh, he just hates everyone, bro. Like, it was my, my brother, homeboy, I was talking to the other day, a black man, and I found out that he's a Trump supporter. I'm like, he does not like you. And he was like, oh no, he just don't like everybody. What? So that's a good candidate for you? Someone who just fucking hates everybody? Like, what? And I'm fucking crying in my room this morning. My brother gonna come up in here and say, what's wrong with you? Like, he can't think of one possible reason why I would be upset right now, bro. Black women, you don't owe this country shit. You don't owe this country one fucking thing. Not one fucking thing else. It's time for us to bunker down. I will not ask you to look for any silver linings. Oh I will my not ask God, you to feel bro! Anything but grief right now. Bruh. Donald Trump won the election, and the consequences will be real and devastating. <laughs> but I'm reminding myself and you that on the road ahead, there will still be opportunities to come back. <laughs> I cried changing her diaper this morning. We cried together. Shut up. <laughs> Bro, nobody chose her. They, they keep making this like a misogynist thing. Like, it's because she's a woman. Democrats didn't even have a choice. She was installed by the DNC. Where were the primaries? Where were the choices? Where were the elections? They weren't. They were just like, yeah, okay, so we're just going to parade her. Oh, we get to vote on this? Like, uh, do we have other can? Nope, this is all you got. Cool story. Okay, let's run with it. Um, how about no? What is what's democratic about that? I just texted my best friend. My best oh, friend God. of 14 years. And I asked them who they voted for. They said Donald Trump. Here we go. Ah! 
Give like, me the shut up, bitch. Ah, that would have been perfect. Have a female president, like, why not? <laughs> like, how much more qualified and intelligent and like that shit's crazy. Perfect for the position. Do we have to be? You see the mind control? I will make it my life's mission, my dying wish, that none of you weirdos can hide in the future. You can't lie to your kids. You can't lie to your grandkids about, oh, it was it was so confusing. It was hard to see the truth. It, he was so convincing. I will not let you get away with that. <laughs> like, that was not normal. This is not normal. I will if make it If you live clear- long enough, enjoy your turbo cancer. You sound like the person that got quadruple, <laughs> quintupled on those experiments all right i can't say any much more than that you got turbo cancer or sterility issues in the future lady come on or to everyone like i will make sure no one is confused about how things were right now in this very vital crucial time in american history that it was not confusing it was not confusing at all you just stood for that you stood with that and for that like i i can't emphasize enough there will be nowhere to hide oh 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 shiver my timbers shut up man <laughs> You know, everyone says that election day should be a national holiday. I agree. I think the day after should also be a national holiday, because, like, what do you mean? Two. Already. I have lost two friends today because of this election. Guys, we literally don't even have to panic. We literally don't even have to freak out right now. We don't even Is that a filter? That's a filter on her face. Like, we don't have to freak out. We don't have to freak out because it's not even real. That's not a filter? Because, bitch... Freak out Bruh. the bull- I can't believe Trump's actually gonna win this f***ing day! Oh, Jesus Christ! I'm so- I think all women should stop having sex for the next four years. Dude, I remember this chick. The one with the mustache. She's legendary. She lives I don't know where. She's apparently some fucking model, and she dates lawyers with, like, eight cars. I- I'll never forget this. This is- <laughs> ah! America. <laughs> All I can say is how uh, fucking dare you? How dare you put this man into office for another four years? No. Tell me how I literally went into today genuinely thinking. You're genuinely confused about your identity. Genuinely, dude. We got redneck mullet. We got bull ring, arm sleeve tat, trying to act like a boy, but clearly a girl. I was going to witness history like i really really thought i was going to witness a woman of color become president of the united states you thought wrong that was fucking stupid of me you guys just don't get it and you have the privilege of not getting it and that's great for you i'm so happy for you but i'm gonna (sighs) how did we get here Who the fuck is voting for him? Everyone. Genuinely. It's just so awesome. <laughs> How much this country hates women? <laughs> nope. It's so awesome. It's really awesome. Not the cap. Like, how awesome would it be to live in a country that, like, doesn't hate women? Nope. That'd be so cool, right? <laughs> Stop the Stop. Four years of a majority Senate. Nope. Of a majority House. Nope. Most likely 7-2 Supreme Court. Oh, perfect. A red president. Perfect. Anyway, just connecting with nature because no matter who the president is, the trees will never change. I'm not going to class today because I know I know who I am. Trust me, I know who I am. I literally know who I am. If I go to class today, I will yell at someone. I will get in a fight because I know who I am. You saw me in that Jubilee video. I know who I am. If I go to class today, I will get in a fight. So I'm staying in my room. Oh, brother, shut up. God, you're so emotionally unstable. These people vote. That's what's scary. <laughs> I'm not a doctor, but these people aren't well. How are they blaming men? Women voted for Trump, too. Now, the woman talked about the hiring of the hitman needs to be visited by the FBI and arrested. Yeah, yeah. that's a threat. These are grown adults, by the way. For being so tolerant, they're so full of hate. Putting your phone in position, recording yourself screaming plus crying, editing it, and then uploading it is totally normal, insane behavior. 
social media has outed these deranged people. Yeah, I, I 100% agree with this one. The mom talking or hyperventilating kids is disturbing. What have you done to your children? Yeah, that is a parasitic mother right there. Absolutely imparting all her trauma onto her kids, brainwashing the shit out of them, making them live in a state of fear and anxiety the way she does. And like a vampire sucks the happiness from her entire family. How unfortunate for those little kids. <sighs> Thoughts on this episode? I don't know if I can do any more of these because, golly, they're just horrendous. Um, subscribe to the second channel, dude. Let's get on the self-improvement train. Let's ignore some of this uh, ridiculousness. Sign up to the private community. Let's get after it. It's time. Let that man do his job and you got to do your own job. Get ready to take advantage of all the opportunities around you, good and bad. Remember, the economy is still not good. The global markets are still shaky. Interest rates are still high. Housing is still out of reach. There's a lot of work to be done. It may take time. You got to position yourself to be in the best possible strength, financially speaking, so you could take advantage of the incoming crash. And likewise, appreciate you guys for tuning in. Take care, everybody. Like, subscribe, comment, share the video. We're being heavily suppressed. And see you on the next one.